the actually unrestricted Ponder and Vintage. It's time to start brewing decks with four Ponders. Okay, welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to the very first event for Magic Online after the unrestriction of Ponder. Very exciting. Uh, if you want to hear my thoughts on the Ponder unrestriction, make sure you go check out that video. Uh, it aired <laughs> maybe by the time this by the time this video airs, probably last week. But maybe I'll maybe I'll move this video up in the in the queue just because uh, people want to see the Ponders. Uh, so what I have here is uh, my version of the Unlucky Monkey Questing Luris deck. So this is a, you know, blue, red, white-ish, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Delver-style deck. We're going to max out on our, our Dreadwood Arcanist in this version, uh, just so we can flash back all of our ponders and preordains. We've got a, a blast in here, some Swords of Plowshares. Uh, and I'm going to try to include Ren and Six. This is probably the most powerful part of this engine. Um, I won't lie. I, I, I This is one of the style of archetypes that could get better, with in theory, with the, with the unrestriction of Ponder. However, I'm not really sold that this style of deck is very powerful. Um, traditionally, this deck has actually been a pretty decent style of deck and vintage for certain periods of time. Uh, but I'm not sure this period of time is right now. That being said, the things that are happening in this deck are powerful, and uh, we'll see what they can do today in this vintage preliminary event. Four rounds, high-quality vintage action, tons of players today. We've got uh, 27 players, so should be a good uh, tournament. We'll see what we can do. Have you ever wanted to win your own real Black Lotus? The legendary NYSE Vintage Tournament returns this June 22nd on Long Island in New York. 15 proxy, high stakes, paper vintage action with 8 whole pieces of unlimited power as prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. Check out more information in the description below. I hope to see you there. Let's battle. Alright, round one, we have a cat. Let's do it. Our hand consists of Force, Misstep, Probe, Ancestral, Dead Off-Color Mox, and Uncastable Source of Plowshares, and a Cruise on the Draw. Yeah, I, I think this is a keep. This is the kind of vintage hand that I, I prefer to keep. Um, you have two looks for your land. You have the ability to force and misstep your opponent's powerful plays. Uh, and then you have infinite card draw here. Um, obviously, there's risk inherent to the style of keep, but it's a card, it's a hand that I typically choose to uh, to keep. So, All right, opponent is back. Let's battle. I'm going to keep this seven. I, I know there are risks inherent in keeping the seven, but this is the kind of seven I, I'm okay with keeping. The biggest downside of this hand is actually if my opponent plays Bizarro back then. Um, if my opponent plays Bizarro Baghdad, our hand doesn't really do it. But to be fair, our deck doesn't really beat Bizarro Baghdad in game one, anyways. No matter what, like you have a maybe you can have like a lucky wasteland on a Bizarre where they like hit no dredgers or something. But in general, our hand is like not really beating Bizarre in game one. So that was really loud. Yup. All right, opponent started with a five card hand, no Luris. Do they have a Bizarre? Let's see. Bizarre would be probably be a pretty reasonable choice to farm for Ponder Gamers, if I had to guess. Urza Saga. Okay. Uh, I don't have an answer to Urza Saga at the moment, but this mental misstep is cooking for sure. That might be an Urza Saga answer. If they don't have a Mox, they do have a Mox. So now the question becomes... I have a Swords to Plowshares. I think I can get away with letting this go. I was thinking about possibly attacking their ability to make Construct Tokens by forcing this Mox, but um, I think that's a little too much. And I have the ability to answer. That's a good draw. Let's show their two-card hand. 
Uh, they have the One Ring and Crim Monolith. Okay, so they can't even make they can't even make a Saga token because they have they're playing Jewel, and they're basically just dead. And we did draw the Wasteland. All right, so this this game is basically over. Jewel Mulliganed, and then I have answers. So I think this game shouldn't be too challenging. If they hit like mana here, they can go maybe like Workshop Ring, and then we have to force it. But if they don't, like we're probably gonna get Cruise and uh, Ancestral off, and then we're gonna be just cooking. So actually, this seems like an ideal matchup for a four ponder deck. Facing uh, jewel shops is definitely what you want to see from a control standpoint. Um, yeah, control decks love to see the all-in combo deck. Let's get a red, and I'm never going to use this Tundra now, so let's just get a Valk and cast Ancestral. Oh, I guess I would have had seven cards. So I could have cast this on my turn. What could I have possibly drawn? I guess I could have drawn like Dread Horde plus Mox or something. That's my bad. I probably should have cast this on my turn. I thought I was overdrawing for some reason, but I don't think I put in the uh was put keep thinking keeping track of the, the land. So I can I can just see it now. Tr Tristan is uh not a I did draw Black Lotus, but I wouldn't have cast anything anyways. Um, Tristan is not a big vintage fan. I can just see the, the Moldafor, um, <laughs> get ancestral out of the game, post on Twitter, oh, one drop. <laughs> I can see it now. All right, so here I just like... Uh, play my strip mine, play my Luris, get my Luris, play my Luris. Um, because I have double force anyways, and then, I don't know, I'm, I'm just so far ahead, it doesn't really matter. I guess I can use this Lotus to cast a bunch of Preordains if I'm interested. Yeah, I guess why not, let's do it. Do I order Ponder or Preordain first? Man, that's a legacy gamer question that I don't know the answer to. Let's go with Preordain first is my basic instinct. Ooh, Dreadhorde Arcanists. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm down for a Dreadhorde Arcanist. I can't cast it right now. One, two... I guess I'm not cruising. I guess I'm, I need to pass. It's, like, not a great use of my Black Lotus, so maybe I should not have done this. I was thinking I would cast a bunch of things. I mean, I can... I could cast this preordain, uh, this ponder, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I would have to eat my lotus, or I don't want to eat my lotus or my uh, ancestral. I guess I'll still cast the ponder, right? Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know, man. Sure. I mean, I'm not expecting to have to use Double Force to counter the ring here. Like, I'm not expecting to have to use this Cruise to counter the ring here, but we'll see what happens. They have a follow-up? Oh, a Metamorph. Yeah, that's fine. All right, they're out of cards. I have about a million cards. Uh, let's cast that treasure cruise. No, I got Ragavan. I uh, I am not a believer in Ragavan. I think that card is not very playable. Uh, uh, I don't know. Tundra. Ragavan might be one of the most overrated cards in the history of Magic the Gathering. It's 
pretty impressive. The feels bad that players got from like opponent casting their spells was apparently just so high for the average player. Uh, okay, so we're playing against Jewel. Uh, Jewel, I have a Nature's Claim. I have Double Negation. I have two Wear Tears. And I have possibly a Pyroblast. Probably not. Um, I can take out... So, the question ends up becoming, like, does my opponent bring in, like, the, uh, the Defense Grid Worm Coil Engine plan? And if they bring in the Defense Grid Worm Coil Engine plan, like, can I beat it? Uh, the answer, I think... Oh, Ragavan should never have been banned in Legacy. That's, like, not close. I think I'm just going to keep one Swords to Plowshares. I don't have any way of tutoring it, but I have, like, ten cantrips, so. Um, Ragavan was never banned in Legacy on power reasons, so. It was banned on feel bads. Players don't want to feel bad, okay? Uh, What else do we want to take out? All these cards are pretty good. How many stores do I need to keep in for the the worm coil little like the little worm coil plan that they have? Like one? I think the answer is one. Oh yeah, Ragavan Rag Rag might even just be bad in Legacy right now with Bowmaster. That's true. <laughs> Two. Two. Do you think Tristan knows about this worm coil sideboard plan, or do you think he you think he'll figure that out? I'm gonna leave in one, and I'm just gonna trim some of the more expensive cards. I think. Let's see. Submit. All right, Luris. What do we got? I got a forest and a wasteland loop. Sure. Okay. Jewel. See if they have force backup. Yep. All right. Jewel with force backup. Not bad. Okay. So they did board. They did board in defense grid. They had to pass the turn. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not sure this gets good for us at any point here, so maybe they drew all forces or something. I don't know. Galarian Academy for one mana. Is it a ring? I'll just concede to a ring. Okay, yeah, I'll just concede to a ring. I, I, I don't really feel like we have the tools to get out of this kind of board state. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes people have turn one, win the game with force backup. And that happens. They did bring in... So it's weird. They brought in Defense Grid, but they kept in Jewel. So most of the time when you're trying to play the um the defense grid juke plan you actually take out jewels for worm coils so i i kind of think my opponent doesn't know that they just brought in defense grid because they know i have counter magic um oh it was three jewels so maybe they only had one jewel okay i knew it was something like that so maybe they maybe they still had maybe they just had their one jewel That's possible. All right. I only have one counter spell. My bad. Let's try again. Uh, there's no shot. This hand is good enough. Doesn't have counter magic enough. So let's mulligan. Uh, this hand has counter magic and a wasteland. So we're going to keep it. The classic wear tear tropical island. Not bad. Uh, I think this is a bottom... Hmm, what are we bottoming here? I'm definitely keeping this. Hmm. 
I'm going to bottom. I feel like I'm going to bottom the wear tear. I'm not going to have the mana to cast on turn two anyways. Rather have all these blue cards. Ugh, what am I supposed to do with this? Just keep it. I guess I'm just supposed to keep it. Yeah, I have a land drop to make. What is this probe? Sure, look at my hand for free. They just pitched one of their 15 blue cards for Force of Will. <laughs> Maybe they boarded out Force of Will if they boarded in Defense Grid, though. Wait, no. We got killed by Defense Grid and Force of Will in game two. Hmm. Mm, I, I don't think Ponder changes anything. Wait, someone should make my thing uh, a... Do I... What about this? How do we feel about negating this? I need to make my thing a command, huh? Uh, we'll do that after. I, I made a whole video, so. I think there are like reasonable arguments to be made about negating that. So I draw a negation. And then I cast Preordain. Oh, I guess I could have time walked here. I feel like that's not that good. Do I want to draw this. I don't think I want this brainstorm though. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is like my opponent uses top and finds more sagas, right? Isn't that really bad for me? I don't know. Stuff. I mean, Doomsday was already a good deck before it got a buff, but I don't think the buff is like so big that it matters a ton. It's going to be about the same, I think. Where's my... I guess I can go to my uh, archetypes and videos. And then I can make this... Add com on restrictions on restriction. Uh, and I do that. And I don't have to answer it over and over again. I feel like there's no way I was supposed to keep the off-color Moxin or the uh, Brainstorm, right? Like, I definitely could have gone Time Walk, like Wasteland Time Walk. I just didn't think that was very good. Like, if my opponent plays Saga here, I'm just, like, losing, right? I don't know. I don't feel like my Ponder and Preordain found me what we were exactly looking for. Is this the defense grid? I, mean, I have to counter that. I don't have a choice. <laughs> Should have three in case they force this. It's not a bad draw. I feel like a run in six is a, the draw that I want the most. I don't feel too good about this current state of this game, just because this top is so good here, right? I mean, they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of fetches in their deck. Like, I don't think they have any effects that shuffle the library that I can think of. Like maybe a saga trigger. So like the t the top is a lot worse in jewel than anywhere else, but still gonna let them look at their top card, spin, just as a as a ring. Just 
deploy a threat every turn. Wear tear. I don't really think that's very good here. There's not much I'm even looking to hit. I guess I can kill a saga if they draw it, though. That's something, at least. I can fetch a plateau. But if they play another ring here, I'm just lost, right? My deck doesn't really beat a resolved ring. It beats a ring by not letting a ring resolve. Monolith. Yeah. Got another ring? No. So then the question becomes, like, do I wear down this monolith? I feel like the answer is yes. I'm not, like, in a spot where I can guarantee to counter Jewel. I think I'm in a really bad spot. Time to draw my Ancestral or Treasure Cruise. Oh, come on! I, I I did this to myself. I fetched a plateau. I did this to myself. Saga. Sick. I can't even play my stupid Lurus. None of my other way Lurus does anything. Looks like we're dead. Oh, man. I just do not like these uh, blue cantrip decks. There's just so much air in them. If you don't draw your Ancestral, you're so weak. It's crazy. These decks are like feel like they're entirely based around the fact that you have Ancestral. They just they have a Jewel, too. I don't know. Defense grid, double ring, jewel, double saga, setting say stop. Not much we can do here. Saga busted? Saga didn't do anything. What are you talking about? Pretty frustrating. I have a whole video on unrestrictions. Type an exclamation mark unrestrictions. This is the matchup I'm pretty sure our, our deck should be very good against, so it's kind of unfortunate to lose. We don't have any null rods in our sideboard, though. Maybe, that, maybe you can make it better by just playing some null rods. I'll concede to this PO. I don't, I don't need to see a PO here. Yeah, brutal. Our deck just like cast a bunch of cantrips and died. I feel like you could very easily make some sideboard changes and like play some null rods instead. I don't know. All right, we're back at it. Round two. I've got a cat. What do they got? Cat? Cat battle? Good old-fashioned blue magic? Ah, oh, looks like a cat battle, chat. Is this going to be four saga versus four ponder? Or is it going to be four ponder versus four ponder? Why do I have a plateau in my deck? This deck can't be right. There's just no chance. <laughs> oh, man. I am, I am just... <laughs> no, man. I am just not the unlucky monkey. Uh, I will never be Tomas. I just don't understand how this deck can function. You're y'all seeing this, right? Like, this is happening before our eyes. Okay, this hand's pretty good, though.
Tundra Gaming. Interesting. It's not a good sign. I get swords. Mulliganing to five on the play is basically a death sentence for a control deck. Yeah, that's not good. I do not have high hopes for this game. Sapphire and Wasteland and Force. Uh-oh. And turn one Lavinia. Oh, turn one Seal of Clan. Okay, fair enough. Well, their last card is Tundra, but we have no mana. Oh, that would have been good if I had a Sapphire or a Volcanic Island. Yo, this Wasteland card, though, who let the Wasteland card enter this format? Unreal. <laughs> Get him! Attack! <laughs> Isn't this fun? Aren't we having a good time? What is this? Lorien revealed? Ugh. Wasteland out here being the best unrestricted land in Vintage. Shake my head. So it's just Esper Control. Oh, man. They, they hit double Uncolor Mox. So they get to buy their Luris. And then they get to loop Bobbles and we lose the game. That's bad. All right. If I can draw a blue land here and not a plateau, please do not give me a plateau. A blue land Ancestral force their Luris. I think I'm extremely far ahead. Okay. Now a force. I think I'm supposed to get... A tundra here in case I draw a swords, right? Maybe not. What am I supposed to get? My mana base is atrocious. How am I supposed to deal with this? I guess it's a tundra. Alk. I guess I'm going to get a Volk. I don't know. No! <laughs> I got a negation! It's okay. I got a Swords, and I can answer this Lurus. So they're only going to draw one card off of it. So it's not the biggest deal. Hmm. <sighs> One card in my opponent's hand. They're going to have a bobble up to two cards. This is a winnable game. This is a winnable game. Glad I'm not getting wastelanded, honestly. Right, they fetched away the card they were going to draw. One card in hand for the opponent. Two cards after drawing. Red and six. That's so good here. I just need a mana to cast it because I need to get a white mana. <laughs> oh, shit. It's... What if I'm just supposed to play Ren and Six right now? No, I had to kill that thing. Uh, I guess I'm going to get a Plateau. Yeah, I think we have to kill this Lur- they, have, they drew Force Blue card! That's crazy. Good thing I put a Pyroblast in my main, unlike the creator of this deck. <laughs> Alright, they have, they have zero cards in hand. So they have good mana, zero cards in hand. We have a counter, and if we hit a, a green land, we have a looping wasteland lock. I think we're winning. That's not a, that's not a green land. And we still have our Luris in the bank. And no matter what, if we get Wastelanded, we can still play a Ren and Six off of Greenland. 
preordain. Sure. Please don't bowmaster me. If you bowmaster me, I'll be so mad. I'm a force, so I guess it's okay. They're gonna oh mental misstep. Alright, well I will mental misstep your mental misstep. Isn't this fun? Fun? Fun chat? Isn't mental misstep fun? <laughs> no, what are these? I don't want to brainstorm right now. I just want you to give me a land. Ay, 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 ay. What was this? They drew a they drew a delve spell? No. They drew a delve spell? No way. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna get rid of the force. All right, one card left in my opponent's hand. Tundra, that's the one land that doesn't make green. <laughs> uh, I have Bobble though, so I should probably just buy Luris. I mean, they could have Swords as their last card, I guess. But. The mana base in this deck is just the greediest thing of all time. Uh, this is interesting. Is there any, like... If I cast Luris, I think it will resolve and I bobble. Uh... And then I just strip mine. I could just strip mine the Tundra right now and then second main the Luris. If I think they have swords. I have backup strip mines with the Ren and Six, so I think it makes sense. Like I'm not super worried about Saga if I can resolve a Ren and Six. Alright, I've got the Luris Bobble loop with my one bobble, because I'm a genius. What is this? Negation on the bobble? Sure. That works out. I'm okay with that. I still have a Sapphire I can regrow and a Dreadhorde Arcanist I can regrow if this makes it to a turn. So I'm pretty sure we're in a great spot now. Island Cycle. Sure. White Mana Swords. I think we're still in a great spot if we get White Mana Swords here. This is good, clean Magic the Gathering. You love to see it. Wait, that's a Black Mana. What's that? Why is that? Why? Why? Why would we get an underground sea? I don't understand. Oh God! Imagine they just bolt key us after all of this hard work. We just get bolt keyed, and we can't even counter it. Oh, there's nothing I can do. I guess we just cast ponder. Black Lotus, Dig Through Time, Ruby. Okay, so I can take Dig Through Time, play the Sapphire from my yard, cast Dig Through Time. Negation, misstep, some number of fetches, but not all my fetches. Preordain, pyroblast, recall. I don't think I need the second Valk. I guess I probably don't need a wasteland and a strip. And I probably don't need a dread horde because I have a dread horde in my hand. I guess I could probably lose one of my cantrips. Preordain. All right, I found Force Blue card. I, d I guess technically Black Lotus was a green source for Ren and Six. I think I'm just going to take Force Blue card. Uh, just so I don't have any chance of dying. And I have Dreadhordes coming, so... 
I think that's the best play. Nice. Okay. That was a pretty dicey game, but my opponent tried to keep me off mana, and eventually we just got out of it. Uh, the one Pyroblast really saved our butt, though. So that was a nice change that I made from the original list. So we're playing against probably just Esper, Bowmaster, Saga. What do we want to bring in, and what do we want to take out? They are a Vault Key deck, and they're also a Twister deck. Don't know if they'll keep in Twister post board. We technically have these cards we can bring in that hit Saga. Uh, we technically could keep in some amount of negations. I don't know how correct those are. We have an uncounterable rending volley that could kill if they play Lavinia or uh, Luris, but I think that's probably not what we're interested in doing. I'm not even sure how many swords we're supposed to have in our deck. Um, and then it's gonna be really hard to pick cards that are bad. I guess, like, theoretically, my opponent is playing a ton of, um, uh, Bowmasters. So, maybe we do want to trim on some amount of cantripping. Hard to say. I kind of like the idea of, like, two preordains out, two negations out, and then... Is Pyro good? Like, it hits Force, but... I guess it hits all their Delve spells, too. Rending Volley is easier to cast than Swords. Yeah, but Swords hits Constructs and, and Bowmasters, so it's not like they have the same targets. Pretty sure it just has to be Swords. Um, yeah, I'm just going to trim up some Cantrips and the Negations and... Get some more targeted removal here. Yeah. I like this. Negation does have, like, some use in this matchup, where if you, like, negate a time vault, it's really hard for your opponent to win. But it's, like, a little narrow. And you don't always have... You don't really have the mana to hard cast it as much as other matchups, because the matchups are really heavily dependent on Wasteland. We only have one dress down. Yep. We only have one dress down. It's hard to fit magic cards when you have four Ponder and four Preordain in your deck. It's easier to play one ofs when you have all these cantrips, though. Like playing one dress down and one pyroblast, like become more powerful when you have more access to find them, right? Mm -hmm. all right so this hand has ancestral lotus questing druid wasteland yeah i'm down it's a lot of scalding tarns huh i did say the key to this deck was drawing ancestral so gataxian probe look at my hand for free Drawing Ancestral and Resolving Ancestral is the uh, second part of that equation, though. Why do you wish for my downfall, Depot? What, what, what is... What's up with that? You're just out here wishing for my downfall? I don't, I don't understand. Who's... They look at my hand? They looked at my top card. So they're trying to operate off perfect information here. Tundra, and what? And pass. Ponder. All right, so I'm play a fetch land, play a lotus, and pass. Not play a lotus? I'm getting spell pierced? Oh, okay. I'm not getting spell pierced. Interesting. I could theoretically get away with a ponder here, but end of turn white mana. Oh, Lorian revealed, sure. I 
I think I have like better permission. I think I'm just okay with waiting as long as I necess I need to make a play. I could like ponder here and force the issue against a possible bowmaster. That might be worthwhile. I don't have a basic in this deck, right? Good gosh. This deck is something. This deck should probably play a basic island. <laughs> I didn't realize there was just no basic in it. <laughs> for for if I if I hadn't already said I, I took the unlucky monkey list and I just made some changes, but like I didn't make enough changes. Wobble wasteland extra f yeah i mean i think i want access to bobble wasteland there's too much yeah <laughs> that's fair point it is a fair point brainstorm of their own yeah I'm pretty sure I want second wasteland, right? I'm really worried about getting bow mastered in this game. I'm not sure how we play this. Like the cards on top of our library don't really lend themselves to playing the game out the way I'd like to play this game out. This could be really challenging. I wouldn't say that this kind of magic is um, something that I'm especially skilled at either. This uh, very value-oriented blue mirror stuff. Vampiric Tutor. Huh. I think I'm interested in Ancestraling right now. Or maybe on their turn or something. I definitely don't want a wasteland anymore. I want counter magic. I think I'm just supposed to get both Volks. Like if this gets negated, it gets negated, right? Like that's fine. <laughs> it's so fun. Uh Exile until your next end step. If I seek the beast right now, does it go until my next turn? Question mark. Because I can seek into um, mental misstep and pyro. So I think we're supposed to do that. All right, I hit Dreadhorde Fetchland, so I've been bamboozled. All right, well, my opponent is either killing me outright with some kind of combination, or they are uh, casting Ancestral Recall. Technically, this bobble could still draw me Mental Misstep or Force for an Ancestral, I guess. Something. I guess the good news is I have a Dreadhorde Arcanist that can cast my Ancestral from my yard. I'm just a little worried that they vamped for a Bowmaster. <laughs> in, in which case I uh, will have to do some extra legwork to get the value that I that I deserve as my Cantrip Mage. Alright. Draw with Bob. Ooh. Oh, Saga? I have an answer to Saga. I lose out on my Flooded Strand, but... Ah, Time Vault. Okay. We have a key too. Oh, a key too. Okay.
They went pretty hard for this Volt Key plan here. All right, so the bad news is they have a key in their yard that they can get with a Lurus. The good news is... do we, we didn't bring anything that goes into the graveyard, right? We don't have any way to stop them from doing that. Ooh, dig through time as well. So... I think I like Wasteland Dreadhorde. Wasteland the Saga. They buy Lurus. And then we Dreadhorde back our Ancestral. I don't think we're casting Dig. I think Dig is worse than casting Dreadhorde with an Ancestral in my yard, correct? I think so. We have a, a whole nother turn here to draw with Ancestral, draw with Dig to answer Alluris plus whatever. Like, I think we're actually in a really good spot. I don't think I like the play my opponent made. Typically, going for Volt Key shouldn't be a, an action that you devote a ton of resources to. I mean, the only reason we won is because we drew a top deck force, I guess. But we did go three cards deep for it. Oh, they are going to not buy Luris. That means they have a negation for my Ancestral, right? That's the only only reason you wouldn't buy Luris there is negation for Ancestral. This is actually really nice because it um lets me answer Luris if they don't have Luris key in the same turn. Alright, well I'm gonna attack with my Dreadhorde Arcanist and see what happens. I mean, I yeah, I, uh, yeah, I guess Bowmaster. I'm not, I'm not actually sure if that's better than buying Luris. Okay, sure. I mean, we just answer the Bowmaster. It's fine. No Tundra. All right, Ancestral, target me, Plateau, Pyroblast, Ponder. Still need an answer for Lurus. I don't, I guess they could technically have Spell Pierce as their last card. Does that make me want to wait? I could ponder with Pyroblast up and then dig on their turn, dig on my turn. Yeah, I, well, I also could like, yeah. oh, another Wasteland. They already played my land this turn, right? So I can draw a Mental Misstep. Okay, Mental Misstep the key now too. Okay, I think we're in a great spot now. All right, so let's draw Mental Misstep for this turn, and then I'll draw Wasteland on next turn. All right, I think this is locked now. These decks really start churning once you cast a couple Ancestral Recalls. <laughs> I also have two Ponders in my yard to flashback as well. Swords as well. All right, I think we're super covered now. I feel pretty good about this spot. I guess they could have another Bowmaster. Uh, we can just wasteland their black source and find out. Okay, they do have last card Bowmaster. This is just fine. 
Uh, it doesn't mean we can't attack this turn. Yeah, Wasteland's broken. Because if I do attack this turn, I'll lose my Dread Horde. So, what do we want to do? Just resolve our Dig Through Time. I guess we could Swords this. I kind of want to just Swords this. Let's just cast this Dig Through Time. Uh, we want to keep one Wasteland, one Fetchland, one Bobble, one Lotus, one Ponder, one Swords. Uh, I guess a Fetchland is worse. We don't really need a Fetchland at this point. Okay, so... Um, God, they're all so good. I guess we take Force Renin Six. I don't know. Sure. I mean, like, wear, wear Tear is also insane. I guess maybe we'll just take Force Wear Tear. Well, our Renin Six is not yet castable, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if they play a Saga, we can wear tear the Time Vault and the Saga as well. Uh, the plateau is fine. It's not a big deal. I have plenty of time, too. That's good. Yeah. Definitely helps. I didn't actually ever upload that video where I uh, someone skipped uh, their turn against me with the Saga trick. That video was just so bad, I just couldn't bring myself to upload that video. It was like the O2 Merfolk one. Had a bunch of those recently. Fortunate. Like, I'd like the, the challenge last weekend is not going to go up. <laughs> the almost timeout into, uh, into my opponent sniping me, stream sniping me, ghosting me. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. So there's a if 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 you're if you have a if you if you're say say you have a time vault and your opponent has a saga on two, if they don't make a a or say you have a time vault and your opponent has a saga on two. If they don't make a uh, construct on their turn, you can move to clean up and skip a whole turn, and they'll just miss out the ability to make a construct. That's correct. I I cut Ponder from a lot of my Luris decks. You don't have enough islands to, to consistently cast Ponder. <laughs> just how it is. I don't know what's going on with my opponent at the moment. Maybe they went for a break. So. There's a lot of... Time Vault's an interesting card. It's a very odd card. Does some weird things. Alright, I'm gonna stop the recording until my opponent comes back. Alright, well. I'm glad I cut that out. So, uh, YouTube didn't miss anything. We have won the match. Which I agree with. This does look like a morning, <laughs> winning board state to me. See you in round three. All right, on to round three. Opponent might be playing some mono white. That'd be a nice little test for this kind of deck. Uh, Cantrips, notably bad against mono white. Source to Plowshares, Dreadhorde Arcanist, notably good against mono white. Uh, unfortunately, this hand I don't think is a keep. If I had a blue card for force, 
I think I would be willing to accept the, my plateau gaming life, but I think this one is, we can do better. I assume I am priced into keeping hands that look like this. Now, which of our pretty lands do we get rid of? <laughs> uh, this one? Can always fetch it back up, I guess. All right. They kept a six card hand. There was no Chancellor. So let's go Trot Preordain. Ponder Ponder. I don't think I want two ponders. I think I want a I think I want one ponder. No! Why did we unrestrict ponder? I don't even want to. <laughs> uh too funny. Alright, Chrome Mox. What do you got for us? Who's Yuri? All right, Mox Jet. That one I think I have to let go. Hopefully they don't go Cavern. Cavern Dahlia would be so evil. Oh, this is so many. I, I don't know they're on Mono White. <sighs> Please don't Cavern Arc on me. All right, that's fine. Please don't Cavern Season Dungeon near me. Just please don't play a Cavern of Souls. I'm okay with anything else, even a Saga. Okay, sweet, beautiful. Thank God. Oh. I can counter a spell. This would have been very bad for me if... Oh, interesting. I mean, I, I'm still forced to counter this. This ponder is worse than the preordain if I have to use my fetch. Or if I get Thalia'd. I'll still keep a ponder. They have double Thalia? I kind of think they do, right? Hopefully it's just like a Dauntless Dismantler. I was really hoping they would just play Seasoned Engineer and I can just counter it. Yeah, I think we do. I do think we have to play... I do think we have to force Thalia here. Two? Okay, Dismantler, sweet. Nah, I don't like it. I don't think it's good. I don't like that play very much. That's so good for me. Those are all great. Alright, one card in my opponent's hand. Maybe no White Lands in play. All right, Wasteland of their own. One card in hand. So we're going to draw Fetch Swords and then Flood Strand. Okay. Yeah, relatively new. This card's great. I think this card is one of the biggest possible upgrades for Mono White. This card's super strong. Helps out in all the matchups where Mono White can struggle. I think this card is actually better in the general versus the format than Thalia. I'd rather see them play four of this than fourth Alia. Card's great. Big fan. Nice design. I'm I'm actually really sad that Brian Kelly doesn't play that much anymore because I think this card would just be perfect for Brian Kelly. Doesn't help them produce white mana. No. That's that is true. Chalice on zero. That's fine. Dead draw. 
It's like, uh, I don't know. I just like this card a lot. What is this? Paying cost? Oh, they just tried to attack and they weren't. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think I'm in a decent spot here. We can go questing Druid on their end step and see where to go from there. Uh, I don't know if it's better to play a fetch or a, not a fetch there. I'd have to think about it more, and I don't really want to. Four toughness is a lot, too. It's good for me that they did not chalice on one. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go and agree to that statement. I will go ahead and agree with that statement. Definitely want to chalice on one here after seeing Preordain Ponder, and you already have a Dauntless Dismantler to deal with. Zero drop shenanigans, so. I'm going to get a Plateau and a Tropical Island, and I'm going to Seek the Beast. I got an Ancestral and a Fetch Land. Uh, let's play all of the Magic cards. Seems good. Uh, let's go fetch up a Tundra. And we'll play a Questing Druid and cast an Ancestral. Seems fine. At least the Questing Druid would have gone through channels on one, but yeah, it would have been a really, really hard game for me. Uh, this doesn't pump this, so I guess it's not much use playing that. All right. There's still some awkwardness in this game if they, like, rip White Source and play Initiative. Initiative. Could be annoying. Wasteland. Which one are you going to hit? Which one? Which one's the juiciest? <laughs> the Plateau. It's good for us. We were at 13. Mental misstep. Not exactly the strongest Magic the Gathering card here. I guess I could have attacked. Oh, I, well, could I have made this deal four damage? I could have cast. Ah, it's fine. I just wanted to pass and hold up Questing Druid. Also get like I'm also holding up Sword, so like if they go Initiative creature, I can Sword something and cast Questing Druid and try to steal the initiative. Not that we have a basic to search for. I like this card a lot. This is another really... I, I think they printed a lot of cool cards in the last couple of years. It's hard to find them in the massive amount of cards they printed. But there are some sweet ones. Yeah, this thing's going to be like a 7-7 seven, seven in no time. Don't need to worry. This is like one of the biggest problems with the mono white deck. Is it is fragile as all hell. The white sources in this deck are a little insufficient. Uh, let's go Seeking the Beast. Swords, Questing Druid, and Negation. Nice, we left up white mana. We can cast a Swords here. And then untap. Draw. This card's sweet. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's go... Cast a questing druid. I mean, for what it's worth, questing druid has a lot of vintage top eights. That's mostly because the one person playing Questing Druid is very good at magic. But Questing Druid has a significant amount of vintage top eights. Uh, I mean, I want these magic cards, so.
Yeah. Very, very similar magic card. Cavern of Souls. Uh oh. Human. Human for three. Anointed Peacekeeper, I assume. Little late for Anointed Peacekeeper. Oh, nothing? Interesting. Can we lethal them? I'm pretty sure they're very dead to time walk, yeah. They might even be dead to just like casting spells. Do I know the card underneath Ponder? Underneath this fetch land? I don't remember. Whatever. Let's just cast some spells. Oh, I did know. Whatever. It's fine. It's not a bad card to draw either. Oh, I don't I barely have any lands left in my deck here. Oh, it's okay. I'm uh, just my opponent just checking out my magic cards. This card's so cool. Ah. Hey, the Ren and Six. We can cast it, chat. We can cast the Ren and Six. No! <laughs> no! Opponent, come back. <laughs> I can finally cast my Planeswalker. <laughs> oh, God. We have... I guess we have three swords in the main. All right. We have a fourth swords. Oh, I put Rending Volleys. Let's go. This is a change that I made. I think they were Flame Slashes. And I was like, nah, not Flame Slash. Branding Wally. Um, all right, Pyro is out. Misstep is out. Probe is out. Branding Wally. Uh, do we want anything else? Do we want like more negations? Probably not. Do we want like a Nature's Claim or a Wear Tear? Probably not. Oh yeah, Branding Wally gets through Chalice on one. That's true. True. Very true. Maybe this bobble is like worse than um a, 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 a nature's claim. Is a nature's claim better than a negation? They both they don't really do a similar thing. Like we really want to slow our opponent down. I think we want some negations here. I think, I think we do want negation to just have to slow them down. We need we need time. <laughs> My opponent disconnected. I hope they come back. Well, in general, in vintage, you're almost always chalicing on zero. There are very, very few times you chalice on on one. Uh, but that did happen to be one of the times that you were supposed to chalice on one. Um, I'm just gonna take out one ponder preordain something. All right, my opponent looks like they disconnected during sideboarding and they have not come back yet and they have not submitted yet. Are there meta relevant creatures with ward? Yes, but not ones that died a rending volley. <laughs> uh, Patchwork Automaton is the best ward creature in vintage. It's a very good creature, one of the better creatures in vintage. The big thing about not being countered is. Um, you can kill Luris. Without it getting countered. Patrick's qu quite a good card. 
Patchwork is probably a card that I underrated very severely. All right, so what is my opponent losing by not being able to submit after sideboarding here? Possibly a bunch of swords. I'm not sure they would have brought in swords, but they might have. Uh, if they don't sideboard, they don't get swords and solitudes, maybe. So pretty good for us if they didn't end up sideboarding. I'm going to definitely cut the video, and we'll see when my opponent returns. Oh, they returned. Okay. I've got a cat. Does Kapanir Cannoneer see play? No, the reason Kapanir Cannoneer doesn't really see play is because all of your artifacts and vintage typically already make mana. So it's not like a huge reduction in speed, you know. Now this, is this hand a trap? <laughs> this is the kind of hand that looks great. It's super good. It's got great magic cards. This is the kind of hand that loses the mono white. <laughs> <laughs> but but I don't know if I can bring myself to to mulligan this. I'm keeping it. But I think I think there's like a legitimate I think there's a very legitimate argument that you should be mulliganing this hand against mono white specifically on the draw in game 2. I I I'm not going to do that, but I think it might be correct. I have a I have a sneaking suspicion that this is a, a mulligan. <laughs> like if my opponent has a Chancellor, a turn one Archon, a Thalia, like any magic card really. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure this is a mulligan, but I, like I said, I, I I won't I won't do it. <laughs> Thalia, Thalia is so good. Oh. I don't care about that card in the slightest. That card is just not it versus my deck. All right, so what do I do? What do I do now? Now, oh, I have a... <laughs> oh, that's so good. Wait, this would have been good, but they had a, they had a Dauntless Dismantler. <laughs> I would have been able to time walk. No. Um, I guess we just play Tropical Jet and pass into an Ancestral... I guess I could wait on the Ancestral. I just don't feel like it. Okay, well, I didn't draw a Force. I did draw a Rending Molly, though. Caracas. My opponent had to mulligan a lot on the play, for what it's worth. I think they mulliganed down to five or so. They don't have a three drop. Wow, they must have a Seasoned Engineer. All right, well, we are going to run and six lock our opponent, so that's notably bad for them. I don't believe my opponent kept a very strong hand, but it's possible they did not have the means to do so. I don't even think I want these cards. I guess a Brainstorm looks pretty good eventually here. Not right away, because I'm playing uh, Wasteland and Red and Six, but... So I think... Oh. I think I'm supposed to hit the... Cara the the Caracas because the Cavern of Souls on human means they can't cast like an orcish uh, whatever it's called. <sighs> Am I supposed to play Ren and Six right now? I don't think so. I think the Dread Horde looks better. I have an Ancestral in my yard. Yeah, I don't think we can lose this game anymore. I think my opponent wasn't able to sideboard and then mulligan to oblivion, so it's not a great example of a game of magic, but. We take the wins where you get the wins. I love rending volley, though. Cool card. I've said a lot of cool cards tonight. 
Dreadhorde Arcanist is not a weak magic card, for what it's worth. Uh, <laughs> if you can get... I mean, obviously it scales like crazy with Ancestral, but it scales pretty well with Ponder and Preordain, so... Yeah. Oh, they had second cavern. So actually, second cavern can be kind of annoying. Oh, they went human human. I was gonna say if they went initiative creature here, it's kind of hard to wasteland lock them because they have like a, a basic coming. Well, that's definitely true. Definitely no reason to brainstorm right now, considering I'm not fetching next turn and I'm going to draw with my Ancestral. I mean, my opponent can't really come back from this. We've drawn way too many cards. We've established our mana base and we're going to waste unlock them out of the game. Like the game is over. It's just this deck takes eight years to finish. So. Well, I, I don't think it's close. <laughs> I think hmm. we've already talked about we've already talked about Ragavan enough on this stream tonight. This is supposed to be about ponder, not about monkeys. All right, so I'm going to start this a turn by attacking with my Dreadhorde Arcanist and drawing three cards. Wait, I don't know if I'm supposed to draw three cards here. I'm gonna overdraw like crazy, actually. I mean, maybe that's just fine. Like, maybe I should just preordain, right? Like, no, no, because I'm I'm wastelanding. So no, but I'm gonna cast ancestral. Like, you can't stop me. Is overdraw a thing? Well, I have seven cards in hand, and one of them is replacing itself. And the, I'm only allowed to keep I'm only allowed to keep a certain number of cards. So yeah, kind of, but also no, it doesn't matter. So But like what am I doing with all these magic cards? <laughs> That's true. A red and six in play does mean that discarding lands isn't actually discarding lands. That's a fair. It's not it's not actually a problem, okay, chat. I under I understand that fundamentally it's not an issue. I get it. It just it just hurts my my value-oriented soul, you know? <laughs> I, I, don't you feel bad with having so many cards go to the yard? You know? Not a good time. I haven't drawn a force. Not that I could force anything, considering they have multiple Cavern of Souls, but. This is the mox that I added to the deck that doesn't do anything besides, like, play early Dreadhorde Arcanists and early Seek the Beasts and cast Lurus. Uh, so, like, this is the worst mox in the deck, but I think it's worth playing when you start playing, like, all these Dreadhorde Arcanists because it's, I think it's, like, really good value to be able to play Dreadhorde Arcanists earlier. Uh, yeah, we'll take the win. Those were not the most inspiring games from the mono-white side, but uh, that is kind of part of the downside of playing the deck. It's a little bit all-in. All right, here we go. Fourth and final round. I'd love a nice little 3-2, uh, a 3-1, but a 2-2 two -two actually gets me enough qualifier points to play at least two LCQs, so that's pretty nice. So, not a bad showing today for the Ponders. Uh... This is a little bit too many swords if they are on jewel, but it's also got a force, so we're definitely keeping it. So here you're supposed to preordain, right? Because I don't have a fetch, or or no, I'm not. I'm not a experienced cantrip gamer. Time walk negation. Yeah, but isn't like Ponder get scalingly better with fetch lands is the point that I'm trying to say. It, I, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just, that's what my thought that went through my head. These cards are not very good. 
Keeping the negation allows me to keep the ponder, though. But is it just better to get a random card? I feel like it is. Noted. Kind of. Kind of. But like using your time walk for nothing when time walk can be used later with Dread Horde Arcanist is like not the most appealing. If my jewel opponent freaking goes Sapphire Ancestral, I'm going to be so mad. Please be something that's not jewel. It's, it's so incredibly rare to have a blue source and an Ancestral in your jewel opener. Tinka? You know they had two blue slots. <laughs> okay. Is it a jewel? Oh, no. What an opener, man. Lotus Sapphire Ancestral Tinker. My bad. <laughs> Jewel, <laughs> Jewel plays Tinker as a blue card because it can't cast Tinker, so it uses Tinker to pitch the Force of Will. <laughs> My two swords, the Plowshare, is looking A-plus right now. This is the second time tonight that I, my jewel opponent has just murdered me through turn one force or turn one force of will. Just brutal. I really think that I should have a null run. If they cast PO, I'll concede because it's not worth our time, but. All right. I mean, we can't beat this either, so. All right. You've demonstrated that you uh, have played the magic cards. So we are going to bring in wear tears and negations and claim and possibly pyroblast. And we're going to leave in one swords in case of worm coil engine. We're going to take out mist up and probe. And probably like one of each of the creatures. I don't even really like Pyroblast that much in the matchup, but it's probably fine. It does hit Metamorph. This is probably close enough. All right. I'll be pretty surprised if my deck goes uh, 02 versus Jewel. I feel like this can deck is configured pretty well for Jewel. It just wants a Nicanol run, but Pearl, Sapphire, Ren and Six, Wasteland, Dress Down, Negation. This hand sucks, right? I mean, I could just buy Luris. Have a negation. Fetch land gets me Luris. Luris doesn't do anything, though. It just attacks for three. I like having a negation and a wasteland, though. Like, that's really what you're looking for in any opener versus jewel. You want to be able to counter their first threat and wasteland their saga. But, like, the rest of my hand is dead, kind of, so... I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it. I think, like, buying Luris is still pretty okay. And we still have a Wasteland. And, like, eventually we have Ren and Six locking them. We have a counter spell. We have an answer to Saga and Saga tokens, kind of. I, I I don't have any problem with anyone mulliganing this, is what I'm trying to say. I think this is an easily a hand that I'm not upset with people mulliganing, but I'm going to try keeping it for science.
Also, like, we do have a Sapphire as one of our two Moxins, so, like, every cantrip we draw, we can cast. So, I don't know. I, like, like, what cards off the top of our deck are bad? Like, we, or most of the cards that we draw off the top now should be good, right? I guess, like, second Ren and Six is bad. I guess, uh, Questing Druid is bad. Well, Questing Druid is not really a green card. It's more of a red card, but... In this case, we don't have Red Banner either, so. This this hand has some inevitability, though, right? Like, a fetch land, like, eventually playing this Red and Six is good. I don't know. I'm, will, I'm willing to give it a try. I could definitely see Mulliganing, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Seven card hand, Ancient Tomb. For Monolith, or... Ugh, I mean... We can just play through that, right? Really don't want to negate it. I mean, we really can't play through that, but this sucks. I have to I have to negate this, I'm pretty sure. I mean we're gonna lose this game. I'm gonna have to waste on this tomb, right? I just can't reliably play through this as an uh, from my side of the table, right? What's with my opponents keeping defense grid and force at will? Isn't that not how the jewel deck is supposed to sideboard? Or is it? Do you just keep force at will when you play defense grid? feel like you wouldn't, but what do I know? Oh, maybe they didn't keep forcible. They're just pausing. Black Lotus Trinosphere. Fetch land. I think my opponent's playing multiple matches of magic, if I had to guess. Yup, they're playing a limited preliminary. Classic gaming. I think we're going to lose this game. I think I'm getting punished for a bad keep. <laughs> I appreciate no, no props' <laughs> tweet of, of confidence. I don't think this deck is very good, for what it's worth. <laughs> I I do not think Delver is back. I will, I will not say the, the dreaded X word. I will not say the dreaded X word. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no saying the X word in my chat. It's banned. It's banned. <laughs> uh, a second wasteland's not bad, but it's not good. Can't play my Luris anyways. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just F. I almost F6 through my turn and didn't actually play the second wasteland. <laughs> Turns out, not negating the ancient uh, the defense grade would have been pretty good here. Because I would have been able to hold up hard cast, uh, or sorry, three mana negation. Blue land top. Interesting. My opponent kept a very slow hand. Just on the back of defense grid, I guess. Interesting, interesting. Can I have a fetch land, please? It's actually, like, really big value to have a Luris in play because it means if my opponent, like, fails to combo off with jewels, I can steal jewel. Like, for instance, I have a Luris in play. They go for a jewel. The jewel resolves, and then they follow up with a Metamorph or a Peo. I Pyroblast the Metamorph or a Peo and steal the jewel by attacking. Even a plateau. Like, I'll even, I will even take a plateau. Thank you. Okay, so. What do we get, though? <laughs> Is it a plateau? It's a plateau, right? Plateau, plateau gets me Luris and Pyroblast. 
God damn it, I'm just going to fetch a plateau like it's no big deal. You think they forced my Luris? I'm wastelanding here, right? Like, theoretically, I can... I am not actually worried about a Saga immediately. I feel like this is a wasteland. I feel like fetch a plateau, play a cat, wasteland my opponent. You know, when they decide it's cool for me to do that. <laughs> I feel sorry for YouTube watchers. Just watch on two times speed, I swear. Plateau gaming. All right. White, white, cat. How do you fear? Do you fear the cat nightmare? We'll never know. We'll come back next episode. <laughs> next episode. Imagine if I did that. Just like cut the video. You'll learn how it ends in the next episode. Illegal. Oh, wow. It got forced. Force pitching Metamorph. Die. I think this game is going to be so easy if I can just get a Renin 6, right? Right? Isn't Renin 6 so good? I have, be I have Sapphire, Pearl, Renin 6. I'm surprised they forced that, to be honest. I'm also surprised there's, like... Where is Nami? Nami? Nami, are you here? Nami, does the does the sideboard guide for Jewel uh, keep in Force of Will and bring in Defense Grid, or does it does it board out Force of Will? Okay. Okay. So people just people just just doing whatever they want, thinking for themselves. I appreciate that. Oh, chat, entertain me. <laughs> I, oh, you know what I need to do tomorrow? I need to call the eyeglasses play. Wait, my opponent, oh, they, they played a workshop and then passed. Okay. Special? Tropical Island? Please. Emerald? Emerald. Oh, Emerald. You are you are asking for a lot. Black Lotus? Mox Emerald? <laughs> Double queuing should be illegal. Illegal, I tell you. Ah. Ancestral into Black Lotus. Yeah, see, that's if we're gonna if we're gonna ask for good cards, we should ask for the best cards. So let's let's theorize chat while we're waiting. Let's theorize the best possible series of draws. Eh, okay, that's fine too. Pew. Man, Wasteland is a dumb magic card. Still got lands over there? Oh, yeah. Out. No, they're out, baby. Come on. Green mana. Come on. Come on. Do it for chat. Do it for chat. Okay, we're back to thinking about the best possible hand. So, Ancestral Recall. Drawing us. Blue card... Force Emerald. Yeah, that that's not those cards, but it's not bad. It attacks. When I finally draw a ponder, it's gonna be so good. 
Okay, maybe not. Maybe, 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 maybe not. I, I guess they have a lot of forces in their deck. <laughs> All right. Mox Emerald. They can spin their top now. Wait, why do they get to draw Mox Emerald? That's illegal. Watch them spin into a Saga, draw it with top, and then we lose. God. Be so good here. It should be our Mox Emerald. <laughs> <laughs> all right green mana ancestral recall uh no plateau why did this happen twice in the same freaking stream no this happened twice in the same stream <laughs> come on man Ow. Ow. It's okay. Think of how much better our Black Lotus is going to be now that we've drawn this dig through time. <laughs> Unlucky Monkey would have never drawn this dig through time. I swear. If I was if I was Tomas Mar, I would never have drawn this dig through time. <laughs> the worst part is I get to draw it, and then I get to sit here for two minutes while my opponent plays limited, and just like taking in the psychic damage. <laughs> All right, well, they know what they're drawing, and then they're spinning. Oh, they're playing a key. All right, I can't interact with that. Uh-huh. And a land, I assume? Or no? No land? Walking on a dream. Just let me play magic. It'll be fun. No, you... Just get me out. Tinka? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, pew. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> no. Emerald. I don't even want an emerald. Give me a blue land. Give me a ponder. Give me a, give me a magic card that can, I can use to beat my opponent with. Anything that is good right now, please. Was it a good metamorph? I, it doesn't matter. Does it matter? Like, I, I, I pyroblast it. <laughs> Does it matter? Does it matter if it's, a, if, if it's a good metamorph or not? I think so. Like, a, a sapphire here lets them do things theoretically. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I think I'm always pyroblasting there, regardless if I think it's good or not. Like, also, a, a, a moxin lets them go top activate and replay right it lets them draw two cards every turn where currently they're 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 choked on mana so i i think it's a good power blast Whoa, you can play Zaya and Rakan on your set 11 board for built different? That's so cool. Ooh, a piece of candy. It's castable. Do we just hit this emerald or like... I mean, I'd like to be able to hit Saga and the emerald. But like, isn't hitting the emerald kind of high value? I feel like hitting the emerald is. I mean, I didn't make my opponent play out game one. I, maybe I should have let. Maybe I should. Maybe I should have made my opponent play out game one. Well, I'm. I'm not. I can't hit top. They'll just draw with top. I'm basically what I'm doing is stopping them from using their top. I'm gonna do it.
Like if they had a saga on top, they would have just drawn their saga with the sensei's top and you and put it in play, right? So it's it's very unlikely they have a saga. And they also tried to metamorph a Moxen, so it's unlikely they have a ton of lands on top, right? So I think it makes sense conceptually. Could work. We'll never know though. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll just ne we'll just never know. <laughs> um, they're not that far behind in clock, to be fair. I've definitely had far worse opponents. It just feels worse, I think. I don't know why. Wear Terror can be a destroy artifact and destroy enchantment, though. Oh, I, I think they're playing a limited prelim at the same time, Adam. So they had a mox on top. Noted. Oh, they're drawing an extra card, chat. Can I please have things that let me do stuff? Okay. I can do stuff. How? I mean, I'm happy that I'm not drawing these cards. <laughs> Let's think of the upside, Justin. If I had drawn either of these cards, well, should I keep the negation and negate their top? Feels bad, right? It's got to be bad, right? I feel like that's bad. I don't really like that play. Woohoo! Let's go! Fetch land! Strip mine, please. All right, maybe I'm supposed to... Yeah, am I supposed to get the strip mine or am I supposed to get a fetch land right away? Does it matter? I don't know. <laughs> watch them just kill me here they just go workshop time vault kill me yo what's up eric how'd it go how'd it go did we get there three one what a beast four ponder broken doomsday broken the return of combo Uh, so next turn we can cast dig through time which has got to be game winning i would hope does it is there any circumstances where it matters if i take strip mine versus a fetch land here chat can anyone think like if they needle my renin six I guess that would be like a possible outcome, right? And then would it be better or worse? Mm Uh, Luris can't come back. Dreadhorde can't come back. Negation can't come back. I don't need two fetches, and I don't need two wastelands. And I don't need... I can't... Can I Dreadhorde a tear? I don't think I can Dreadhorde a tear, right? So I can get rid of that.
This plays into like technically it plays into negation blue card, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, force blue card, you say? I accept your proposal. Yep. Oh, I don't know. I'm just taking actions at random now. Next turn, I get to hold up hard cast for us as well. They are drawing two cards a turn. Kind of. Oh, that's a good point, Sully. That's a good point. We could have, we could have, I mean, do we need the wear tear if we have an active Ren and Six Emblem? Like, we're going to win the game. We'll find another one or whatever. Uh, I don't feel like forcing that, right? Well, maybe I'll force it on the next time. I'm not going to lose my ponder over it, though. I'm definitely casting ponder here, though, right? With an active fetch land in my yard and one, two, three, four, five mana. I have a bit too many wastelands. I'll take this ponder. I'll fetch. How many more fetches do I have? How many more things can I get? No, no, stop it, stop it, Adam, stop it. No saying that. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Watch them go time vault with, with backup force. What if we lose this game? We can play through that. We could lose this game, I think. We, I wish we had a null rod, man. Wait, they just drew with top for what reason? Oh, so they can untap their monolith. I, we might lose this. What counter can we draw? I guess we could draw a negation and then play a wasteland and pass. Maybe I was supposed to force the top at some point. Ren will ult? But what if it doesn't make it to another turn? Like, if, if my opponent, like... If I hit nothing and my opponent goes Sensei's top and finds a payoff, they could just win the game. Yeah, those cards don't do anything. I'm going to be so sad if we lose this game. Was blowing up key ever a consideration? I blew up an emerald, right? Not a key. I mean, there were a couple choices I made in this game that could have had different effects on the game. So they have enough to spin. Oh, they already know their card? Or they're just drawing an extra card? Yeah, I mean, they did draw three moxes when I had them Wasteland locked. True. Yeah, I, I mean, we could have done that too. I, I mean, there were options. Oh, they just put the top on the stack and then spun, and now we're going to do the... Uh, what? 
Isn't that a weird sequence? What did I just watch? I don't know. I don't I don't I don't think that was the correct sequence. All right, so we get to Ren Emblem. I sure hope that wins the game. I'm going to have to Ren Emblem before like without getting to keep my Ren. Uh I mean, I would have just spun, but I know I don't know what the top cards were. They might know what the top cards or something. I mean, they're obviously not paying very much attention to this game for what it's worth. Merchant Scroll. So we have an Ancestral to get. Is that better than just like casting spells from our yard? Like we should just cast. I don't know if I want to cast a dig. Don't I want to keep all of these? Um... This costs three mana. Yeah, I just, like, the problem is they have a defense grid, right? So unless we, like, blow up the defense grid, and we got rid of the wear tear, it actually might hurt us that we got rid of the wear tear. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm not sure that Ancestral is better here, to be perfectly honest. opponent conceded this was the most interesting turn i was gonna take in the entire game and we're just we're just conceding i waited that entire round to play that one turn and i, I wasn't able to <laughs> They got bored. They weren't even playing. <laughs> oh, I should made. I should have made them play out game one. I should have made them play out game one. I'm. I'm actually really upset that I. 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 I conceded game one because it was. I didn't want to sit there, you know? Ooh, man, this hand is not it. This hand is not it. I mean, I sat there. I have, like, nine cantrips in my deck and missed. I drew, like, the one swords that we don't want to have. I can't cast the negation on turn one. This hand is just not it. That's better. Uh, We'll just bottom this Tundra. Is this going to be the defense grid again after they <laughs> kept in all their forces? Uh, pass. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Yep, monolith. Five mana on tap, I assume. Well, gotta force that. <sighs> They're so good. Oh, wait, I can counter that. Big, big, big. There's no way they have a third payoff, right? Uh... What is my white spell? Swords to Plowshares and Tear? Wait, why did I get a white Man Knight last game? Did I have a white card? We're not getting Plateau here. We're going to get a Valk. Oh, Luris. Okay, that's a good reason. 
That is a good reason. Okay, I'm so smart. <laughs> Imagine they follow this up with just like PO for three or ring. God, I'm going to be so upset. Tinker. Mr. Oh, please, 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 please do not play a one ring. Okay, we're safe. God bless. Oh, uh, ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Cutting them off blue mana makes the most sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't stop them from jeweling. I think cutting them off blue limits more top decks. I mean, it's about the same number of top decks. Okay. Ancestral. Well, I'm casting that. Off drop, I guess. I need to draw force blue card. Sick. No, no, no. I need to have force now. I need to have force now. There's just too many things that kill me on the spot. I mean, I have eight forces in my deck. Oh. <laughs> They're so dead, chat. <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> Fuck Jewel. <laughs> Watch them Jewel with Force back up here. Nope. GG. GG. You may concede the game at any time. That any time is right now for if you if you were wondering. <laughs> it's now. Any time is now. <laughs> yes. Good, good. <laughs> this feels so cathartic after last game. After last game, this feels so cathartic. Should we have saved the negation because we could have cast it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> your your play is better. I agree. I don't even have follow-up plays, huh? I guess I could ponder, but it's just like not worth it, right? Or is it not? Is it worth it? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, I can buy Luris, right? I can do that. That's something I can do. Oh. Oh, yeah, I can't wear Terror. Oh, I right. I get another ponder. True. There's no way I could miss. Yeah, but what if I miss, Ian? What if I miss, though? No, no, but what, what if I miss, though? Like, have you considered me missing? Like, I could miss. No, no, I could miss. Like, I, like, I could miss. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Trinosphere, do it. 
Metamorph. Uh, that doesn't matter, right? Because I have a Pyroblast. Oh, is it not blue after? Uh, so it just blocks for a long time. I guess it attacks my Renin Six technically. Oh, whatever. Sure, you can have it. Oh, they have Ancestral Recall. That's a bad idea. No, oh, they went for Ruby. Bold. I'm so off it, chat. I, I'm so checked out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I am so absolutely checked out of this game. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry. We, we, I could be playing better. It's. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I I I I think I think the moment I started my red and six turn and my opponent conceded, I think I went to bed. <laughs> I, this is this is so silly. Like I, they didn't even play out their entire combo in game one. In game one, I could have made them play out their entire combo. Like. Uh, why do they, can they, they <laughs> oh it's just lagging sure I don't know. I'm just taking random actions. Oh, I forgot about the... <laughs> yeah, whatever. I, I don't... I, who cares, like, what I do? Does it matter what I do anymore? Like... I'm o I'm over. I'm over it. It's fine. It's fine. I I st I stop. I just like took random actions, okay? We can we can fetch next turn. We can get a cat later. I don't know, man. Like yeah, well, next turn we can we don't even have to run in six emblem uh, ultimate yet. We can wait one more turn for fun. Like, I don't know. Play Alluris. I don't even know if I want to bobble or not. Let's let's preordain. Sure. Sure. Uh, let's just play a Black Lotus. Let's attack. Let's get a. I'm gonna enjoy this. Like I, 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 I have been given my time. I am going to enjoy my time. This is my time. <laughs> My opponent thinks it's their time. It's not. It's mine. <laughs> I can't wait to take infinite turns with Ren and Six and Time Walk. Not that I need infinite turns when I'm on a two-turn clock and a single Time Walk wins the game. But if I start taking infinite turns with Time Walk, maybe I attack with like one creature for fun. Oh, they hit a blue source. Ancestral time. Oh, we're, we're maximizing fun output. That's for sure.
Oh, you're right. No ancestral. Boring. Let's hard cast negation. What did I do wrong? Nope. No fun for you. Sorry. Sorry. Now we're done? <sighs> okay. Not bad. 3-1. Return of the, 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 the X word. We don't talk about it. Return of Delver in Vintage. Uh, return of Cantrip Gaming. Return of Blue Control. Probably not, honestly. This deck did not feel amazing. It functioned. Uh, but I have some concerns. Mostly with everything. Um, yeah. Plateau Red and Six. Is playing Plateau worth worth it? Can we not simply play Oko? I don't know. I, I, I am actually more interested to see. Oh no, I think Red and Six is good. Don't no, don't don't diss Red and Six. Red and Six is broken. Red and Six loops a strip mine every turn. It's 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 solid. Um I, so my uh, my analysis is I don't think this is the ideal deck construction for what we were trying to do tonight. I took an existing list. I made some changes. I probably should have made a few more changes. Uh, so we had some problems. However, I'm very interested to see what other people do. This is not the kind of deck that I typically brew with. I'm much more into comboing. Um, and there are players who are quite good at playing this uh, blue-oriented control strategy uh, players like OKMV or Unlucky Monkey. So I want to see what those players do with the access to the ponder, uh, and then we'll we'll try we'll try out their decks along the way. I don't know how much brewing I am personally going to do with four ponder. Like I said in the other video, I think it is probably not a huge effect on the format. Maybe a slight buff immediately to Doomsday. Maybe there's some blue control. Maybe there's some uh, like a, maybe a breach combo deck that wants four cantrips that's that could be possible um and obviously dreadhorde arcanist really likes having a bunch of cantrips so it's possible there's a sweet dreadhorde arcanist deck and this maybe maybe it's less colors uh maybe it's just like slightly more cohesive colors uh we'll have to see uh thank you for watching if you want to see more content like this one vintage videos on my channel every monday wednesday and friday i'll see you then